Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the video, my name is Turbo, and today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different. Now you may be able to cast your minds back, depending on how long you've been a subscriber, that I'm really fascinated and enjoy using emulators, especially if it's a, from a dead console that you can't purchase anymore, or if you already own the console and the game, but you like playing on the big screen with some fancy effects and whatnot. Well, this is an emulator of the Nintendo 3D DS, so the video's obviously going to get copyright flagged by Nintendo, just give it a few minutes. <laughs> but anyway, jokes aside, I'm going to show you Pokemon Moon, I'm currently playing Pokemon Sun, so technically I've already purchased one version of the game. So, technically speaking, this shouldn't actually be illegal. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to get into the whole debate about whether emulators are okay or not. I find the technology fascinating. This emulator isn't even out yet. It's kind of in, well, I guess you would call it, very early access. Because uh, you have to download various versions of it, which they're updating almost literally daily sometimes. So it's fascinating to see how far it's come. Unfortunately, the audio didn't record the first time, so you'll have to enjoy this wonderful um, Hawaiian-themed music. Uh, but later in the video, guys, about the seven-minute mark, the actual game audio is working. So anyway, we'll skip through this wall of text and the, as always, unskippable goddamn intros of Pokemon games. Yes, mysterious creatures, they're so mysterious. We, we are seeing all these for the first time. We've never seen Pokemon before. So yes, come on. Skip. Skip. skip do da All right, so. We will pick a dude, just, yeah, go. Yes, that's fine. Spell out my name, I will call myself. Um, I think I've already got the perfect name. It's gonna have the word Nintendo in it. Can you guess what it is yet? Yes, Nintendo, I'm gonna call myself Nintendo... Um, sucks. <laughs> Just because of how they treat YouTubers, alright? They, they do have some great games, but Jesus Christ. Get with the times, guys. Yes, I do want to go by the name Nintendo Sucks. 10-4, good buddy. Oh, is this guy a police officer? Uh, apparently he is. Nintendo Sucks. <laughs> That's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. It really does. It does have a good ring to it. I have fond memories of always changing the name of uh, Gary in the original Pokemon games. He changed it to something like Twat, so everybody would call him Twat. It was just... just Silly childish thing, but it was always funny. Come on, let me play the game already. I want to see how it's running. We've had almost bang on 60 FPS constantly, which is a hell of an achievement, especially considering I'm recording. The only thing I was missing at the time of the recording was the sound. But anyway guys, the actual game, not not the emulator, the actual game is really good. I do recommend playing it. I mean, it is all the same, again, but the cultural phenomenon of Pokemon can't be ignored. I mean, you can ignore Pokemon Go. I mean, almost nobody I know plays it anymore, because it was just a few weeks of awesome fun, then it was just kind of like, nah. And then this comes out, and then everybody goes crazy again. So we are definitely dipping into the 33 FPS in these large open door cutscenes. So I'm not sure what it's going to be like actually walking around when we get to that point. But hopefully it'll be okay. Ish. I mean, if you play with the sound off, the game does compensate by slowing the sound down with the game, depending on your FPS. But again, fair warning, you will need a beefy PC in order to get this running. I mean, even I'm struggling. And I built my system to play and record in 4K. Emulators are a different kettle of fish, guys. Pokemon Moon! Will it be as good as Pokemon Sun, though? That's the question. <laughs> Basically, it's the exact same game. Three months later. So here's our starting island. I, I assume there's some, some more, because this looks very small, and it's the only one I've seen so far.
Okay, 45 FPS. So again, this is super, 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 super early access. The emulator is being constantly updated. Literally, like I said, daily. So it's only a matter of time before it's going to be good enough so that if you actually own the game on the console that you can then play on PC and the big screen or play on your lounge TV. There'll probably be a game save file system working by then. So be able to enjoy not squinting at a screen. Yeah, chill out on the sofa, put your feet up, link a controller up. Basically, we're creating the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> That's what we're doing, <laughs> kind of. Could anything be more soothing? I feel like I could stand out here all night. And you could, T-posing, if I didn't press skip. But uh, yeah, let's 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 skip because we don't want to look at her T posing all night. Go get Nintendo sucks. <laughs> um, at the time of recording, the audio wasn't actually being recorded, but in actual fact, at this point, I did laugh at the fact that Meowth makes the cringiest, horrible sound effect. You would think at this point, with all this detail they're putting into the game, that they would add actual Pokemon sound recordings rather than just like a meh just a random sound effect that apparently represents something I mean hell even Pokemon Yellow back in the day Pikachu actually said Pikachu it wasn't incredibly clear but it was definitely saying Pikachu okay in this version of the emulator that I'm using um, the key presses to get up don't actually work so I'm gonna stop the recording here and then come back with audio and a working version of the emulator where I can get out of bed. Because for some reason, this version doesn't. Alright, All right, I'm finally out of bed. Just like real life. You check the book your father gave you. Yeah, this is just all the stuff I've already seen before. Not really much else to demonstrate for you guys now. I'm not going to play the uh, entire game for you. So I will just uh, get out of my room. And see how some of these interior and outside zones are running. I imagine probably not too great, but we'll see. We'll see. Yes, I am pumped to meet more Pokemon. Again. <laughs> so I'm gonna go let the professor in now. Oh, no, I don't even need to get to the door. He's just, he's just going to badge in. He's going to face away from me and then do a dramatic entrance. Are you feeling any jet lag? No, just actual emulator lag, slightly. I mean, if you were to turn off the cheesy music, you probably wouldn't really notice any lag. Not gonna read all of these. Oh look, he's happy. Come on, I just wanna go outside! Yes, let's go get a Pokemon. Right, I need to go get my stuff from upstairs. Oops. I mean, that's the exact same sound effect that it used to be in the other Pokemon games. You checked out the moving boxes. Those boxes were moving? Alright, sweet. I'm dressed. Let's go. Alright, I'm dressed. Let's go. Yeah, it's a really nice hat. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, it's enough character glorification. I see. I am wearing things. Let's go. Ah, oh, Meowth's telling jokes again. That Meowth. You look ready for anything. What, because I've got a hat on? Come on. I want to go outside. That's a, sty a Stylin hat. Who talks like this? 
Oh, I mean, I've just told them a joke again. I get it. <laughs> That's a good one. Come on, just let me go outside. Oh, <laughs> slow mo exit. Can I go now? Fine, I just want to see how it runs outside, and I know whether to play on here or carry on playing on the little console. Uh, 33 FPS. Yeah, I think that might be... It'll be playable without the music going uh, slow-mo. See, this would... Yeah, I could cope with that if the music was off. Run! Oh. I think it's going to be a case of certain zones and cities and stuff are going to run badly until the game, until the game, until the actual program is more refined. But the potential is there for being able to do the 3DS on the big screen, on your PC, being able to record and stuff. Again, as long as you're legally already on the game, as technically it's illegal, obviously, to do it. And so I'm not believing any links to download uh, the game. But obviously, Citra, you guys can go ahead and download because it's just a, it's just an app. But yeah, you'll need a beefy ass system to get something out of this. The 30 FPS looks like it's going to be the standard affair once you're walking around in the 3D. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found the video at least interesting. If you've not seen any of Pokemon uh, Sun or Moon. Or if you've just been curious about the emulators and how they're running. This is the main one at the moment. Again, Citra. And there's very many different versions of it. Uh, so your mileage may vary on your results. But I was able to record this and obviously play it reasonably well. It's not perfect. But again, for those of you who are already on the game, here's one way to play it on the big screen. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in another video that's not about emulators or anything to do with Nintendo.